hello guys and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to the BMW M2 competition package what can I say marvelous car So in my previous video, I've just collected the car from the ancient drove it, give you my impressions, you know. It was purely raw, I never drove it before, so I loved it a lot. And since I have the car for a couple of days right now, I absolutely love it more and more. I understand why lots of people, they love the M2 competition package. Let's talk about the exterior because I think this is one of the most beautiful BMW and M cars ever from the front. The new LCI lights, it looks so beautiful. The fenders are extra wide to accommodate that competition package, chassis and suspension, and drivetrain, etc. It's much wider track than the regular one. The new black grills, they're bigger, they're connected now. There's no 360 camera, so there's no camera here, unfortunately, but they look so good. The front splitters, the design and the bumper, it's just aggressive. Unfortunately, the agency installed the big uh, plate number, and you can see it's you know it's taking a lot of place from below which is lame they should have put the small one it looks much better the car from the side looks fantastic the new M mirrors the side skirts were very well integrated the black exterior parts the outer parts they look very good with this long beach blue color the competition wheels 19 inches Pirelli P0 tires thick tires fenders are massive from the front and the back it looks very very good from the back, the car is wide as a house. It looks so good. Look at those fenders. It's ridiculous how, how wide they are. They look so good. Everybody on the road is looking at this car and giving me thumbs up. As I said, the long beach blue color, the black combination, you know, of the different parts of the exterior. I mean, the new LCI lights, the wheels, the exhaust, just fantastic. Nice lights here. Even I'm not a big fan of the two series lights, but they did a very good job with these lights. There's a nice wing. Uh, I believe you can do like aftermarket with a carbon fiber or black finish. It look even better. It will show more. M2 competition badge. I love the new M2 competition badges. And the different competition. They're in black and there's competition lettering here. And it looks better and more, you know. It's not just a standard M car, basically. Those reflectors here. They kept them close for a reason. Diffuser is good, competition exhaust. The tips are a bit small, I think, but they're nice in general. But look at the, the exhaust, how it's standing out, you know, out of the car. I mean, the, this muffler is just ridiculous, really. They couldn't even keep it somewhere or hide it. It's just so obvious. But in general, the car looks fantastic from the back. been having the car for a couple of days so I thought to do another video and explain more about the car if you first time following me on my channel you know I own the M4 competition package and you can see tons of videos related to that car and I absolutely love it I had the standard M4 uh, for two years almost and then the M4 competition almost for one and a half years frankly speaking the M2 has always been on my radar I always wanted to drive this car and potentially own it but in UAE, where I live here, Dubai, basically, it's not very available like the M4. And uh, people tend to like more bigger cars, larger cars, more faster cars. So let me start by telling you something. You know, I've been living with this car for a couple of days, using it from everywhere, highways, city, everywhere, basically. So it's like the daily driver as an owner. Look guys, let me tell you the facts as it is. This car does really suffer from stiffness. Now, if you wanna drive it as sport mode and you wanna expect to have more engagement as a sports car, it's really good, you know? 
but sometimes you want to have it in comfort mode and you can't in this car and the reason for that this car doesn't come with adjustable suspension like the m3 m4 which is bad to be honest they should have included it you know they have put so many parts from the m3 to m4 and then they put it in this car why not perhaps put the adjustable suspension too also the 360 camera they should have included it it doesn't really make the car much more expensive and it's like in old technology i mean usually what they do they just take the technology from the highest model the 7 series and then make it to the 5 4 3 2 whatever i mean that 360 camera has been there since almost five years and you cannot have it in this car why not it's the end of the cycle guys come on just put it there charge it for 500 dollars as much as you want and i'm sure that people will love it it's really useful okay enough said about a negative points or things i don't like see driving the car now in efficient mode the steering in sport and the drive logic gearbox in d1 right away i'll put it in sport as soon as you put it in sports mode and press that pedal you can hear the flaps of the exhaust opens the car is alive in my opinion you just can't drive the m cars in efficient doesn't make any sense now we'll put everything in sports plus and mdm mode s3 the gearbox manual gear shifts car now is alive it's sail happy the MDM mode really gives you lots of room to play doesn't cut the power that frequent like the regular traction control and it's on but you have to be awake I'm telling you with this car as an M4 competition owner I'm telling you the MDM mode there is more forgiving this one is not it reminds me of the previous m4 or the m4 standard you know <laughs> it's really fun i mean we have a dry weather so the roads are hot and the tires they really get worn very fast i can imagine in colder weather and drainy or a little bit wet this car will be really difficult to handle especially if you have the traction control off or on MDM mode you see in my previous video I mentioned that the sports competition exhaust on the M2 it doesn't sound as good as the one on the M3 M4 I mean is it just the exhaust or because of the ECU tuning I really can't tell but it doesn't really sound as deep or it doesn't crackle and bubbles as much when you change gears on, or when you lift off or downshift whatever but it does have a distinctive sound to it as an M2 which is a good thing to be honest it's you know deep sound it's a nice sound you know like muscly sound I really like this car it really drives very very nicely it drives a bit better than the m4 it handles a bit better i think but as a whole i think the m4 is better it's fun though it's really fun guys it's just you have to drive it does it really need more power i don't think so i don't think so because this is a lot of power for this car and don't forget BMW always they underestimate their numbers for a reason so if they're saying this car is giving 410 brake horsepower and 550 newton meters expect it's gonna be much more than that and another 20 to 30 horsepower snow to this car so good the brakes are fantastic they feel good they stop well as I said also the seats in my previous video they're very good I just wish we had a better option like better leather 
but I just, you know, had a thought about why not include a merino leather, soft leather. This leather here looks like sheep, you know, like regular two series. Also, the seats, you cannot lower them much. I don't know why they do that. On the M3, M4, you tend to, especially the M4, you tend to sit very low. These ones, you see, this is the lower I can get, or the lowest I can get. You know, the M2 competition comes with the 19 inches wheels, 245 and 265. Maybe if the wheels or the tires basically are a bit thicker, you will have a better grip. It could be though. I feel they should have gone a little bit thicker wheels. Car wants to play, man. <laughs> and I love the gear shifts on this dual clutch gearbox. gonna miss this gearbox. Downshifts are great, upshifts are great. It's fast, it's aggressive. Okay, this Steptronic automatic is very good, the 8 speed. But this one is fun too. It's just more engaging for a reason. Automatic is a bit it's fast, it's better as a whole, you know. It doesn't really jerk on low speeds inside the city and when really you park. This one is fun. This car is done all, almost more than 10,000 kilometers. So the engine, the exhaust should be open. I don't think it's gonna open more, it sounds better than it is now. Gear shifts are brilliant, brakes are brilliant. Handling is absolutely great. The steering, it does feel a bit more direct than the M3, M4 because the car is shorter wheelbase just smaller in general. It's a brilliant car, guys. Right? Really good car. I enjoyed every single minute of this beautiful M2 competition package. Well done, BMW. Really, BMW, they just have the ultimate driving machine. I'm sorry, guys. It drives like nothing else. In this segment, like nothing else. Let's talk from the inside. Uh, there is a new digital instruments cluster, very bright and easy to read in the you know daylight. The left indicator you have the BC button to control different information on the screen, the mileage, the kilometer you have done, the range of the car, the speedometer. Of course, this is the M steering wheel. Finally, it have the M1 M2 configuration on the M2. Very nice. You know, very thick wheel. I love those pedal shifters. They're placed in the perfect spot. They click very good. So the M2 competition comes with Alcantara on the door, stitching. The door pockets are massive. There's a lot of different compartments. You can store stuff. Lights are automatic and you have some safety features there. Like lane assist that you can see it's enabled uh, when it's over 60 kilometers per hour. So moving to the dashboard, you can see the layout of the car. It looks very, very nice. There's a big screen now, same as the M4, same vents. And this carbon here, um, it's pretty nice, but it's easy to scratch. There's no extended leather on the dashboard, unfortunately. I wish they included as an option. The M mirrors, they look very good on this car. And you have the Harman Kardon sound system. This car comes with a start-stop engine in red. I love it. The configuration button, their touch, and you can assign them, you have traffic control, this car comes with the connected drive system. Typical uh, two, three, four series, basically. But here, I'm gonna show you some differences. This car comes with the cup holder cover. 
very nice the cup holders are great there is an ashtray as an option if you want to smoke starting from the top you have the traction control you can put it on off or mdm mode you can put the engine basically in efficient sport or sport plus this empty bottom here it looks odd it's for the uh, suspension and this car doesn't come with it unfortunately so you don't have the adjustable suspension from the m4 m3 also there is a button here uh, missing for the 360 camera but it does have a reverse camera automatically when you put it in reverse i'll show you in a second it have the parking assist and the m2 competition is still carry the manual handbrake which is we love it's so good it does also have alcantara here instead of the leather and if you open it you have the wireless charging for uh, your phone and you can have some USB here, which is very nice. And finally, the seats, they look very good, very comfortable and sport at the same time. Leather quality is not the optimum as the M3 M4, but shape-wise, they're very nice. And I really like the M2 logo here.